Hey guys, this is Coastal Carolina Aquatics here. I just wanted to make a quick care guide on the Placosimus. There are many different variations of the Placosimus, such as the Zebra Pleco, and this care guide is going to give a basic overview of uh, how to take care of those, although it can vary from uh, species to species. So make sure you uh, look up the exact specifications on your Placostomus. Uh, pictured here is a common pleco which can get up to 24 inches long, usually not suited for most home aquariums. Uh, a good substitution for this is uh, what I actually have is a bristle nose Placostomus. They only get about 5 inches long. Uh, they usually like a water temperature between 68 and 82 with preferring about 76 to 78. They like soft water with 6.0 to 7.5 pH. Um, they are territorial to their own species, but if you have uh, like a, a common pleco with a royal pleco, uh, they might not be territorial, but there's always uh, exceptions to that rule. So when you're feeding your pleco, um, some of their food source is just going to come from the algae growing in your tank, but um, you also need to make sure you give them some live vegetables like cucumbers, and sometimes you might need to drop some uh, sinking pellets in there for them to eat because they do need some protein. They are omnivores. In the wild, they also feed on small crustaceans too. Here's one of the uh, most common variations that I see a lot is the uh, zebra pleco. These guys only get about three or four inches long so nowhere near the uh, common plecostomus that gets two feet. But uh, these guys can get up to like 60 to $80. Here's another variation, the Gold Nugget Pleco. These guys get 10 inches, so a little bit bigger. And uh, you'll often see uh, Placostomus is categorized by L followed by a number. So when you're breeding, your Placostomus is quite hard. They need lots of hiding spaces. Um, usually a large tank because they can get territorial with the same species in there. Um, not very many people are able to accomplish this and it's not recommended for the beginner but um, I have all the information that you need basically in this picture so if you want to pause it and read it but uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, make sure to subscribe.